Yo! What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on M. Kwan Reviews. I'm M. Kwan. Peace and blessings to all out there. Whoa, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed in such warm clothing. That's because I'm here in the UK at the moment on my winter break. Now, if you want to catch up with everything that I get up to here while I'm in the UK, outside of tech reviews and unboxings, really simple. Wait till the end of the video and you will see a link to my other channel, M. Kwan Vlogs, and you can be super, super nosy for this video right now i'm on my way to my local apple store based here in leicester at the high cross because i am on the hunt for yes the apple airpods these are probably one of the most annoying apple products for me to try and get hold of because since i landed here in the uk i have tried almost every avenue to try and get hold of them Today, I think I got super, super lucky because I managed to find a pair online available for pickup from my local Apple store. So let's go, let's pick them up. We can do an unboxing together and see exactly what the fuss is all about. Let's go. have been using these for about three or four hours now. I want to talk about generally how I'm getting on with them and my first impressions. Let me just talk about this to begin with, the case. The case for the AirPods is just absolutely ingenious. The way it works in terms of setup, flawless, like literally flawless. You turn Bluetooth off, on on your iOS device on my iPhone 7 Plus, flip open the cover and it connects immediately. and once it does that it's just been sort of consistent um i've had no issues in terms of you know uh, putting them in my ears and them not turning on or not connecting or anything like that it's been very very good from that perspective and the other thing is uh once you've connected them on one device if you have other devices that use the same iCloud account you don't need to do that setup there I mean the setup is easy to begin with but the fact is is that you don't need to go through that process um using multiple devices I think this is one of those Apple products that sounds very cliche and Apple use it all the time just works really light but i'm finding i have a situation where they don't fit into my ear in the way that i need them to do i also wanted the ability to be able to use them um in the gym not necessarily for intensive workout uh, or cardio workout per se but to be able to use them you know on the weight semi-light use however these things won't stay in my ears i seem to be one of those people that they're not gonna fit well with. And what I would recommend is when I went to the store earlier on today, they didn't actually have any trial AirPods available. They do have them in store and it is available to try. Go into the store and try them out. Ask somebody to let you have a feel. Because really if, the weird thing is this, um, the ear pods, the wide ones, actually fit slightly better than these do in my ear. Whereas if you watch a lot of other reviewers um, and people making videos on YouTube, it's the other way around. In my ears, they won't stay in. Check this out. If I shake my head around, <laughs> both of them pop out. Other uh, reviewers who've, you know, kind of jumped up and down, jumping jacks, you know, gone cardio, running, everything with them. And they haven't fallen out of their ears. So I think it really is, and, and it's a bit unfortunate that Apple's gone down this route of kind of one size, playing with the numbers, you know, majority of people won't have an issue with them. I think I wouldn't have an issue with them if I was using them day to day. Um, and that's what's making me consider them, uh, consider keeping these because if I can use them as an alternative to the wired situation, you know, when I'm on my MacBook or, you know, um, just when I need them for phone calls and things like that, they will work perfectly fine. So that's something to be aware of. Other than that, the way they look is really odd because I went out to the mall 
uh, wearing them and I noticed a lot of people glancing I, I had two people that actually stopped me and said are those the airpods wow can I see them can I have a look at them I think at the moment they are going to attract a lot of attention and they do look slightly odd I mean I can't help but feel like we're going back to that kind of odd time when you know you'd get those douchebags wearing the bluetooth headsets and acting like really like oh you know look at me i'm on an important phone call some point down the line perhaps six months from now every tom dick and harry will have these in their ears so perhaps we won't we won't look as stupid as we currently do now um but yeah it's interesting now in terms of actual use very very easy via Siri and you know getting stuff done I really like the ability of being able to take one out uh, music pauses um, I like the fact that you know when you put it back in it replays I like the fact that you can double tap to call on Siri um, but there are a few issues and one of the biggest issues that I immediately face is the fact that I can't skip tracks without calling on Siri and Siri has some kind of delay with the AirPods in a way that I tested out with the earpods the wide ones there doesn't seem to be the same kind of delay there is a delay but with the AirPods it's much more noticeable the final thing is in terms of connectivity these things stick to your phone or your device like glue in terms of connectivity I went upstairs downstairs you know I kind of left my phone in the kitchen and just went everywhere and it was phenomenal the uh, the call quality that I tested the sound quality none of it seemed to drop whatsoever and for it to be able to maintain that is really kudos to that W1 chip and the architecture that Apple have done with this so that's really really impressive I think I'm a little concerned about the price I think that paying 160 pounds which is what I paid here or 160 dollars if you're in the US for these for me it feels a little overpriced I think there are better options out there there are options that you know you can have that will be able to be used in the gym and a bit more kind of broader use ability for those um, wireless headphones I was expecting to be let down by this but I have been pleasantly surprised um, what I would recommend is going into the store trying them on making sure that they fit um, watching enough or understanding enough of how they work and seeing whether or not you're able to live with some of those limitations the biggest limitation really if you're a music listener is the ability to not be able to skip the track as easily as you would expect um, I don't know if that's a software update I think perhaps in the future Apple can kind of amend or change something so that you're able to perhaps tap one side to you know put the volume up the other side to put the volume down perhaps if you triple tap to skip to the next track you know something like that I'm sure Apple can do that from the OS side but at the moment it is limited to Siri or tied in very heavily to Siri so that might be something that puts some of you off anyway that's it from me for now i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have smash that like button down below remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and leave a comment down below and until next time i'm mquan peace and blessings Bye.